BD-5 pilot with you on a, a noisy Saturday afternoon. There's an Air Commander 690 out there with its Garrett turbos uh, screaming away. And uh, I'm out at the hangar trying to test something out. So if you've been following some of the discussions on the BD-5 experimental group uh, page, I've actually been talking about the cooling system of this aircraft. So I've actually put the cover back on the left side of the engine, kind of tried to seal this up in such a way that uh, that engine compartment is sealed off enough that I can take and operate a blower, fan, blower unit off of my shop vac to test a system that's built into Jim Beatty's original design. And it has to deal with that little tunnel back there. That tunnel that I thought was just for rooting the exhaust is actually an exhaust jet Venturi that's designed to take the exhaust air. You just put the exhaust about one inch into that opening to that plenum and then it's supposed to feed back through here and then as the uh, pressure from the exhaust itself and then the airflow created by the uh, propeller and then as you're moving through the air uh, your movement itself creates a low pressure on the back of that and sucks the air through so I'm wanting to test that idea out so I've made this funny looking little panel and we're gonna mount this right here with some tape and I've got two different locations and I've purchased a, uh, a little airspeed uh, item for my, uh, for my iPhone. I of course don't have that part for the iPhone yet. I will, uh, I'll have that next week, but uh, we're gonna test it out right now because I've got my cousin hanging out with me because uh, after we get done with this, we're going to weigh the plane and then take some pictures and see if uh, his taller than my frame fits inside of this aircraft. So there we have the uh, Gwynchode uh, installation. And the reason there's four holes is that's how many there would be with two on one side, two on the other side. But there's two different locations I'm actually interested in testing. So when I have that uh, little airspeed indicator, that little uh, fan that mounts on the iPhone, I can actually test those individual locations. I'm going to turn the fan on the shop vac on you won't be able to hear a thing and we'll just see do I feel and uh, and I do feel a little bit but it's not much so uh going to take uh, uh, some uh, other means of testing, maybe getting a fan behind the uh, aircraft as well, so I'm actually creating some uh, vacuum in the, in the back of it. Granted, that's going to be uh, sucking it into the prop. It's not going to be in the direct prop wash, but it's close enough to a prop that if that engine's idling at 1,000 RPM, or if it's up at a higher RPM, I should actually be creating some flow there. And for this weighing, I am, uh, I am setting that little EarthX battery in its case in there, although there'll be a little more built up there, but uh, we'll get an idea of where that battery goes. Um, I'm gonna get this thing up on the jack stands and then get the uh, scales out, and, uh, and we're gonna take a weight with a person in here, because I don't think that thing, with only two and a half uh, pounds on the nose and that battery not being there, I'll bet that nose just flips back on its own uh, if, uh, if there's no weight in the nose now. So once again, I have the scales set up and ready. I weighed myself with uh, the attire I have today. I'm 199.4 pounds. So with that, I can put that into the calculations and see where we come out. So I'm sitting in the bird right now. Galen is uh, busy turning the scales on and then he's gonna drop this thing down and I'm gonna pull that uh, canopy forward so we get a proper weight. And there he comes to lower the nose of this down. He just dropped the tail. And so I got to feel that. Now let's, uh, what do the scales say? 205.6, even on these, uh, 59.8. So now we have a written record of the uh, weight. Well, actually it's a verbal record. We'll get a written record as soon as I review the tape. And now I've got my cousin Galen sitting in the plane and his taller frame, actually look at that. He has room for his head. And we're dealing with uh, 192.6, 194.4, and then 46.8 on the nose. So his slightly less weight, we'll find out what his weight is empty and uh, we'll make sure the calculations for where that seat 
rests the weight into the uh, center of gravity, and we got more to work with. Remember the batteries in it too. So uh, that gives with me sitting in the plane, remember 199.4 for my weight, that's 471 pounds um, with the uh, weight totaled up on the mains and the nose. And uh, if we additionally add the weight of the engine, the 32 pounds for the engine, the uh, 12 pounds in avionics, that totals out to 515 pounds. The only weight left to the plane is gonna be uh, wiring and the switches in the aircraft and uh, so we got some pretty good close real world figures. I'll go see if the uh, weight and balance actually came out to what my uh, calculations had on the aircraft to see how close we are. BD-5 Pilot is out for now and we'll see you soon.